Hey everybody, welcome back, or welcome to Something Old, Something New Car Rips. Today we're going to be ripping into something vintage. We got this repacked wax. What this is, is uh, if you haven't familiar with this, there's actually a website, repackedwax.com. This is actually pretty much what got me back into the hobby. It was back in February. Uh, Pass is live. He was ripping this on this channel. And I went ahead and bought a box. This is actually from February. This is the first thing I bought. I haven't ever got around to opening it. I wanted to get in a... I knew I when I bought started getting the hobby I was going to do the channel so I was just kind of getting back into it trying to you know educate myself a little bit we're going to do we're going to do this in uh, four parts just because I'm going to take my time opening this and then I'm going to see if I can get better at this as well I've been you know buying some vintage cars and stuff like that but I was never a big vintage collector back in the 90s when I collected so I'm going to miss a lot of the years a lot of, well hopefully not a lot of the years but I'm going to get a lot of the years wrong gonna miss some hall of famers this is gonna be 50s today so this is like i said from february so won't have anything from the newer 2020 but back in february before the, i think 20 i can't remember when series one yeah i think it's before everything came out in 2020 so he's got a youtube video though he shows you making this repack wax he's got a facebook page uh he keeps they've made some more of this stuff but uh it sells out really quickly so we'll just get into it so like I said, this is my very first thing. Like I was watching the video, passes live, and I think I got the last box or the one, the last two boxes. Kind of cool. He does his own. He has a hobby iron and he makes his own packs. Like I said, you just check out the video. He shows you what he's putting in there. There's, there's going to be two stickers in here, one on each side to protect it from the wax. We'll just grab this big old stack here. And if you look at the video, he's going to show you. He's, he, you know, he's, he's putting together, he's breaking, cracking open sets. He actually cracks open some graded cards as well. Uh, so, I mean, the, he buying collections. So, this is not going to be mint, gym mint stuff. This is just going to be stuff he's put in here. So, let's just get into the first pack here. Hopefully, we can pull some good stuff. I want to see if I can get some early Nolan Ryans would be nice. Some Luis Aparicios would be nice. Oh, there's some 85 Donner's Tommy. Oh, and there's the sticker. Repack wax. So he puts one on each side to protect the wax there. from Or protect it from the pack from the wax. So those will come in handy. Always like stickers. I mean, like I said before, if you're a sports card collector, you're going to have lots and lots and lots of boxes. 91 Upper Deck Jim Abbott. That's kind of cool. Look at him button. Never seen that one before. I'm not even sure if he was good at button. Oh, there you go. 1976 home run leaders. Mike Schmidt. That's a sweet looking card. As you can tell the condition, you can tell the corner there. Like I said, these are not... We might get a few nice ones, and then you're, you're, most of these are going to be in this condition. 1977 tops. There. Reggie Sanders. There's a Mike Morse from Bowman Chrome. I have no idea what year that was. I guess... We'll look, 2005, there's a Carl Yastrzemski, 68 All-Star selection from 69, that kind of gives it away. It's kind of cool though, it's got a puzzle on the back. That's a cool card. That's not in too bad a shape, and the corner's kind of dinged up a little bit, we'll put that up there. Paul Molitor, DH, 1992 draft picks, Rich Ireland, a Bobby Valentine. From what else year is that? 80 tops. Doesn't look like 80 tops. And then a sticker on the back, that's what gets the wax stain on there. And a top prospect, Matt Smith. Upper deck. Second pack, so first pack. Like I said, I've seen lots of things. Because I didn't really call it the Hall of Famers. Mike Schmidt. Let me know if I miss anybody. I'll probably go back through and, like I said, I'm trying to get a little better, better, and we'll see how I do on the second run. There's a Mark McGuire, 93 Upper Deck Award winners, 1992 Comeback Player of the Year. That's kind of cool. Well, here's a tiny little card. Big old rip in it. Phil, Rose Phil Rosetto, number five in a series of 52. I don't know anything about this. If you know anything about this, leave a comment below. Uh, Phil was the 1950 AL Most Valuable Player, so that might be from 51, or just might be something saying he's from the 50s. There's a Lance Johnson. That's a guy that's got a good name. He's got to go right up there. Jack O'Connor. Joe Magrain, 88 Fleer. Know that one. 1979 Topps Frank 
Tavares, there's a short stop. That's in pretty good shape, too. Ah, this corner's a little dinged up. School looking card. Chris Hammond. There's a Jeff Bagwell, Hall of Famer. 91. Jerry Willard. Mo Vaughn. It's kind of cool. Dwayne Ward. There's a card that's seen some better days. <laughs> Bill Travers. Yeah, look at that top of that. Still a sweet looking card. 76. I was hoping I'd catch most of the 70s. Dwayne Henry, 89. Cool looking card. Tito Fuentes, 1975 tops. And a date. Dave Roberts, Astros, was at 82, yep. Yeah. Ah, two packs down, so there's a lot of cards in each pack, too. I should have said that. There's 36 packs in the box, just like the old school wax packs, and each pack has, I didn't even notice, I don't even know how many, oh, 15 cards per pack, so just like the old, when I was buying them, you see the provisions in the background there, and the Fleers, I mean, I'm, the reason I bought those is to get the provision. So I just started collecting this year. So all those were I bought this year. I really like the provisions when they came out. I think I still have a few of them. A couple more stickers. There's a Kevin Gross, Wayne Kirby, rated rookie. There's an 84 Donruss, Joey McLaughlin. There's a Tony Gwynn from 89 Donruss. I actually probably don't have any of those because I probably got rid of them all. There's a Tim Watch. That's a cool card. That was it 81 Fleer? 83 Fleer. That was way off. Expose. Dwayne Busey. Wilson Delgado. That's a first Bowman, I think. Is that what that says? What would you do that for? Yep, first Bowman card. Wilson Delgado from 96. There's a Rock Reigns, 85 Donruss. That's a, that's a cool card. I like that one. I'll put it up there. That's in nice shape. Oh, there's a Jim Palmer, though. That's a nice card. Hall of Famer Jim Palmer. 73 tops. Jim once won a sports car in a golf tournament. That's a cool-looking card. I guess we'll cover up Tim Walsh. Luis Montanas. Don't know. And Bowman. My Bowman's really bad. 2005 Bowman. 1997 Bowman. Well, except for like 89 and 90 Bowman. I'll recognize those probably. <laughs> Tony Pena from 1990 Upper Deck. So he's already seen some nice cars, some nice Hall of Famers. This is uh, this is really cool. If you ever if you are interested in vintage cards at all, or especially if you're new to the hobby like me, or new to back in the hobby, this is really cool to go through this, see all this different stuff, get all these nice stickers. Darren Dalton, 92 RBI champion. There's a Mike Schooler from 90 Leaf. John Pacella. Craig Matthews. 2002 Tops. Joe Nathan. This year's Archives cards. Kevin Rogers coming attraction. That's a cool looking card. From 93. Jeff Bagwell. Matt Williams laying out for the ball, but it looks like it's got past him. Raphael Billiard, there's a brave shortstop. John Hiller, that card's not, that card's got a tore up. 76 tops. Jim Acker, 89 upper deck. Bob Stinson, 75. And a Dan Pentry. 82. Hmm. So, didn't get any any Hall of Famers in that pack, I don't think. Sticker. Travis Fryman. Rich Ebner. Cecil Cooper. You should pull lots of Cecil Coopers, it seems like. There's a Matt Holiday. Topps Heritage. What year did they make that Topps Heritage? That was for 2005 Topps Heritage. Bake McBride. Terry Pendleton. There's a Red Sox team card. 
Manager Don Zimmer. Is that year is that? 79. Oh, seems like every I was going through the LCS too. Every single time you find a team checklist from back then, they're always marked off. Kids really like used them back then. 86 tops. Wayne Krenchinski. Larry Bittner. Steve Dunning. From 73. That's got a big wax stain on the back. It's cool and card though. Nice colors on that. Andy Ben Benes. He had a good career. Well, not a great career, but he was a big hot when he came out. That was a card to have. Lee Lacey, 75 again. I really like 75 tops design. Mike Musina, Hall of Famer. It's pretty early in his career. I guess we should put him up here in front of, in front of Lance Johnson. White Sox, Greg Luzitsky. It's a cool looking card. And another sticker. For some reason I'm having trouble keeping the 82 design in my head. We've been seeing a lot of 82. Let's go ahead and wax. Sticker, sticker. Darren Dalton, 94 Donruss. That's like a nice, actually that's a nice card. I'm sure if you bought this nowadays, it's just probably stick together like crazy, but special 53 edition. I don't know what that means. Might be something nice though. Sweet looking card. We'll go ahead and leave it out here. 89 tops. Bob Boone. Todd Von Poppel. Yep, he was a hot rookie. Miguel Cabrera. Oh, that's early. Second season. That's a cool card. Miggy, we'll put him... No, he doesn't... We'll just put him over here. You can't put him in front of Carl Yastrzemski. Frank Tanana. 77 earned run average. What was their earned run average? What was their lead, leads there back then? 234, 254. Rick Roden. There's the A's. From what, 67? 68. 68 tops. Carmen Fanzone. There's a Phil Negro. There you go. Way, way off center. Still a really cool card. 77, 77 tops. Put him behind Jim Palmer. Chris Sabo. Roger Clemens. It's funny that we're ripping this, and I saw this on the Passes Alive, and he always says something about Chris Sabo, and here we find a Chris Sabo in there. Roger Clemens from 93, Don Russ, and uh, another Mike Mussina. 93 Leaf. And a Pat Combs. Actually, that's two of the same card. Three packs left. So, like I said, I haven't seen any Nolan Ryans yet. That's what we were really hoping to get. Some older Nolan Ryans or some of the fit cards from the 50s. Haven't seen any. There's another Rock Reigns. Put him in front of Chris Lambert. Mitch Kingery, 87 Fleer. Bobby Witt. Bobby Witt Jr.'s dad. Cecil Cooper. 89.85 Donruss. There's another Mike Witt. Oh, that's Bobby Witt. Mike Witt. Oh, I think that's his rookie card, actually. That's cool. There's a checklist not checked off. 83 Fleer. Future stars. Al Green, Bruce Robbins, Mike Chris. Not sure about any of those guys' careers. That's a nice... It's in really nice shape, though. Dennis Cook. Lonnie Smith. 89 score. Charlie O'Brien. Gene Lockler, 75. Gorman Thomas. <laughs> look at that picture. That's a nice picture. That guy does not look like a baseball player. Two more packs left. Still looking for Nolan Ryan. A Tom Seaver would be nice, too. Oh, that's the back. We'll go this way. Brad Miller. Merkin Valdez. Matt Koff, I guess. 80 tops. George Hendricks, 87. There's a Will the Thrill Clark from Leaf. That's a nice card. 
Andy Leaf. Like that said a lot. Not a Hall of Famer, but great player. Oh, here we go. Here's something from the I believe that's from the 50s, right? 59. Not sure. Now let me know what, what year that is. That's a sweet looking card though. Not in great shape, but the fact that it exists is awesome. And I got it in a pack. Here's some more future stars. Orioles, Mark Corey, Dave Ford, and Wayne Krenchinski. Scott Scudder. Move on. 93 Leaf. Yep, that was early in his career. Hal McRae. Manager card. And Tony Armas. Glenn Davis. So our last pack for this session. So let me know what you think of this product. Oh, he's got someone's got a lot of wax on it. Good thing he put a sticker. Well, look at that. Good thing he put a sticker in there. That sticker is nasty. Jose Vidro. I don't know. Have any clue what that is? Never seen that before. Donruss Classics is an Expos card. Donruss Classics, two thousand three. That's a really thick starred stock. That's a nice looking card. I like the old Expo cards. Jermaine Die. That's a nice card. I was a big rookie back then. Don't think I had that one. 96 rookie. I'll, I'll put it over there. Braves Andy Messersmith. Milt Cooler. Richie Sexton. Larry Milborn. Ah, here we go. Bill Billy Harrell. So this was the 59 tops. The other one must have been 58 tops. St. Louis Cardinal infielder. Great speed, it says. A couple of double-digit triple seasons in there. Denny Doyle. Second base. It's from the 60s or 73. I don't, know, I don't know any of the 70s cars, it seems like. Kevin Mitchell. Sean Barry. Ozzie Smith. That's a sweet-looking card. Nice picture on the back. Uh, put him over there and a Gary Pettis so let me know if I miss any Hall of Famers definitely someone clue me in on this guy Phil Rosetto that's a cool looking card I don't know what it is uh, let me know what you think of this product and let me know what you think the top card so far is and as always thanks for watching I hope everyone has a great day and good luck out there